G'day and welcome. If you're into knives, sooner or later you're probably going to want to maybe adjust a pivot screw, maybe pull the scales off, maybe pull the whole knife apart for whatever reason. That's going to mean you're going to need tools. Very, very possibly torque screws, or at the very least, a pretty good set of different size Allen keys. Where to get them? Glad you asked. Here in Australia, some years ago, in fact, before the knife obsession reignited, I um, was walking through a Dick Smith's and I saw this. And like any uh, red blooded male, you can never have too many tools, and I lashed out and immediately bought it on an impulse. And glad I did. So this is a, uh, it's still available, this kit, fortunately enough. It's a, um, you can find this on the Dick Smith website. It's a 101 piece bit set with carry case, they call it. And, um, Retails are for around about 30 bucks. In fact, the website's claiming they'll ship it to you free. Um, if that's the case, that's a heck of a good deal. What do you get in it? Well, a lot. 101 pieces as it happens. Now, I, on the website I went in, I print up this list to save me trying to tell it. So hopefully you'll be able to read what's in here. Flat blades, different sizes, Phillips, square bits, Torx bits, which we love, posi drives, hex keys, millimetres and metric, and the pure other. I don't know what clutch ones are. Security talks, we'll talk about. Security hex, I'll show you those. Try wings and some spanners. So you can see from that list there, it's a pretty comprehensive list of bits and pieces. Not only can you do your knives with these, but you can pull apart those annoying electrical appliances that have got those funny little bits so that you're not supposed to be able to pull them apart. So, Torx bits. We've got Torx bits ranging in size from this is a 5.5 tiny little thing right up to a 5.0 okay you've got, so you've got a Torx bits for pretty much every occasion um, there's also lots of allen keys including some odd sizes this one here right up in the roof is a H1 or a 16 and actually that's the one that you need on the Spyderco Tenacious and those sorts of knives at least I think it is I'll just check on keep their information Greg at the persistence yeah that's the one that fits the clips and bits and pieces um, be very careful if you're working on tenacious model knives. Um, don't use the wrong size bit. They're, um, they don't appreciate it much. So that's the one you need. Uh, H1 or slash 16, um, and that's an Allen key hex key. So there's more hex keys there. A lot more hex keys on there. That's all your torx bits. Um, down here there's all manner of weird, wonderful critters. I don't know how we're going to be seeing them, but these are some of those anti tamper type. Things never be stopped by anti tamper in your life again, that's fantastic. Um, spade bits, pretty standard. Down in here is all those ones I said we're going to talk about, which are tamper proof. Now, the ones along what is now the front, oh, these are tamper proof Torx bits. You can see there's a hole in it. And I've actually struck these on occasions. Um, inside the Torx head, there's actually like a um, like a little, what do you call it, a spike if you like, to stop you putting the tool in. So you need these special ones. And yeah, I've, I have found a use for those. I won't tell you what I was doing. Um, these are the same. Little spade bits with a, a piece chopped out of them. All anti-tamper type stuff and those are your posi drives there. The actual ratchet that comes with, um, nice bit comfortable handle to use. It's got three settings. You've got the middle one which is, turns the ratchet off. If you put it down, then of course that, that does that up. And you can undo it on the ratchet as well. So, really good little set actually. Um, Really glad I've got that. So anyway, yeah, I just thought I'd um, I'd show that to my, particularly my Australian audience and maybe anyone in New Zealand, I don't know if you guys can get this stuff over there, probably can. Um, but if you are looking for something to help you pull your knife apart, uh, maybe just feel the urge to pull the taster apart to see how it works. Um, make sure you unplug it first. Um, great little kit and I think uh, the value is really good. Comes in a, a decent sturdy carry case. Um, yeah, can't go too far wrong. Um, not that I want to be a, an advertising agent for Dick Smith, but they're the only mobile I know who've got these things. So if you need one, that's a place to start looking anyway. All the best. See you later.